Hey guys, my name is Shivani and today I'm going to be talking about the different first year residences at UBC. When I got into UBC, there was like no videos online about like all the different types of residences and definitely none about the type that I got into. I was in Place Vanier and I kind of loved it. It obviously had its downsides. So I'm just gonna like compare all the three, you know, the advantages and disadvantages of all of them. So. Whichever one you get into, you can feel like you're a little bit more prepared for what's going on. Basically, the three main residences that we have are Place Vanier, Totem Park, and Orchard Commons. And I'm going to go through all three of them and talk about the rooms, the food, the location, the price, and the community as well. So yeah, let's get started. So let's start with the residence that I was in, Place Vanier. This is what my room looked like. I'll put a photo right here. I had a single room. so. Um, there are single rooms and there are shared rooms. I was in old Vanier, so most of the houses in Vanier are older. The only ones that are newer are Tech and Korea House. I think there's only singles in those buildings, and there's a lot of rooms in those buildings, but they're a little bit more expensive. Honestly, I was in the oldest residence and the oldest room. And I honestly didn't mind. It, w it did like look really old and there wasn't a lot of space. So it felt a little bit inhumane. Um, <laughs> but there was a lot of storage and the bathroom was cleaned every day. And it was like, you didn't get your own bathroom. It's a shared bathroom among like everybody in the hallway. Um, but it's cleaned every day. The hallways are cleaned every day. There's no kitchens in any of the rooms, I should mention. But there is a microwave and fridge space like on the floor normally. And I will say one thing about Vanier that's also nice is that there's gender floors. So like if you want to be in a floor with only girls or floor with only guys, like they have that option. If you're somebody who prefers more gender neutral options, like a gender neutral bathroom, they also have residences that have that. The second residence that I'm going to be talking about is called Totem Park. Room wise, Totem kind of has it all. Like there's old totem and new totem once again. <laughs> old totem tends to be single and shared rooms, while new totem tends to be single connected. So those are like all three types of first year rooms at UBC. New totem is personally my favorite. I think it's like the most expensive, but like all my friends that live there, like their rooms are so spacious. It's like so modern. Every floor has a lounge. Basically how single connected work is you both have your own room, but it's like a Jack and Jill kind of bathroom. So you both have like a door to the bathroom, which you share. In Old Totem, it's like very similar to Vanier where it's shared or single. There is this kind of like weird green color in most of the rooms though. Like the walls are like weirdly, like not all the walls, but like normally like a statement wall or like the bookshelf is like this weird green color. Old Totem rooms seem very similar to Vanier rooms, like in size and everything. So, and now Orchard Commons. So Orchard Commons is like the residence that normally people are like, that's a first year residence. Oh my God, I want to go to UBC. And it's understandable. I mean, like, it's really pretty. Um, it's tall, like there's like more than 20 floors, I think. Um, OC tends to be single connected. So similar to um, New Totem where there's bedroom, bedroom, and a bathroom that connects you to. It's also very tall, so if the elevator breaks, it's a little bit tricky, but the rooms are again, very modern. Some of them have like literally ocean views. Like apparently it's like been compared to hotels. I wasn't in OC and personally, I'm really happy with Vanier, but if you're somebody who like doesn't mind paying a little bit extra, it's a really pretty residence. They also have like bike racks. Like you can take your bike in the elevator and there's like a little bike section in your room. One thing I will say if you get single connected, you do need to clean your own bathroom, like buy your own toilet paper, clean your showers regularly. Hopefully your roommate's not too messy. So that's like something that's a little bit risky. So the food at Vanier was actually not that bad. Like I really got sick of it at the end because it's like the same thing, but that was like eight months in. And it's not the best, but it's pretty good. Like um, I'm picky, so it's like hard for me to like food. Honestly, my biggest tip is just bring some hot sauce. But <laughs> otherwise like the food does not taste that bad, personally. OC does have a lot of good options. It's a good, like that's probably the best dining hall, honestly. I think like the general consensus is that Totem is like the worst food wise, but 
they have a really good burrito place like every time i went to the totem food hall i got those like the burrito bowls like they were so good um and because it's so close to orchard commons a lot of the time it's literally faster to go to the orchard commons food hall which a lot of people say is the best so there you go my meal plan system was different than the meal plan system they have in place now so i'm just gonna link that in the description so you can like research that yourself um in my year I had we had a lot of people like run out of meal plan money near the end so i think that's why they changed it so hopefully that's fixed now but like food quality wise it's obviously not the greatest i put on actually quite a bit of weight from residence food but i've been to other universities and i think our food is definitely better than theirs so take that as you will location wise vanier is probably the best if you're in arts or solder so they tend to place a lot of art students or solder students in that residence that doesn't mean if you're a life science student or like an engineering student you won't be in vanier my math class was a four minute walk and it was like really close to the solder building totem is closest to the forestry building um to the center for research and sustainability building it's also closer to the engineering kind of area than Banye is. Um, it's very close to Orchard Commons, like location wise, and they're both like close to Westbrook. Westbrook is like the kind of like village almost, or, like the neighborhood area that's very close to UBC. It has a Save on Food, which is a grocery store. It has like a shoppers. It's like a lot of upper years try and live there. It's expensive, but it's really nice. Like it's really pretty. I think like Totem and OC tend to like have a little bit of a community. Like there's a lot of like mingling there that's like kind of farther away from Vanier because Vanier is like closer to campus. Um, again, really close to the engineering buildings and the land and food system buildings as well, actually. One of the best parts about Place Vanier, I would say, are their community spaces. So the commons block is like where all the food is. So the dining hall is like the top floor and then we have like a gym space, a study space, like a lounging area, like music rooms and everything on the bottom floors. It was always really lively, like literally sometimes I was studying till 5.30 a.m. and there were still people playing pool. So there's always people to meet, always people to talk to. One downside is like my floor didn't have a floor lounge. The new Vanier buildings have floor lounges, like all of them. But yeah, sometimes you might not get a floor lounge, which is kind of sucky. But personally, the comments block always being open was so helpful to me because there were plugs, there were desks. Like I always had somewhere to study that was outside of my room. So that was really, really helpful. Community-wise, Totem, like, I personally, like, wasn't there. So I can't speak too much of on it. Um, I know that the comments block tended to be pretty empty most of the time. But I think that's because a lot of the people who studied went to the forestry building. So that might be why, like... It was emptier. Again, I'm speculating here. There are lounges on every floor of both old and new totem, I'm pretty sure. Um, I think in the beginning of the year, they had like some of the lounges turned into like shared rooms because they didn't have enough rooms. But like they once they sorted it out, like the lounges were open again. So there are lounges. There's not a lot of like community hangout spaces in Orchard. Like there isn't really a commons block, I would say. It does feel like a little bit isolating, I've heard. So there isn't really like a space to meet people organically besides like the dining hall. I feel like it might be harder for people in OC to meet people. But like honestly, I feel like the views make up for it and you like have classes and stuff. And like a lot of first year events normally happen. So just like take advantage of those and you should be okay. They do have a lot of study spaces, however. Every like floor like has their own lounge, but it's connected to like two floors. I like the one above and below kind of. So it's like a three floor lounge. It's connected to three floors, but every three floors has their own study space, their own like lounging area and their own kitchen area. So personally, big fan of the OC lounges. The best part of Vanier is the price. It's cheaper than the other residences. Um, a shared room in Vanier I think is the cheapest, but single rooms in Old Vanier were also pretty affordable. Um, that's what I had honestly and I think I got the best deal. Like again, it was small but I, I don't need a lot of space so I'm okay. These are the prices depending on what you get in Vanier. Um, yeah, the downer with OC. Of course it has like all these perks. It is the highest price. So, 
this is the price for the OC rooms. Um, and then also, this is the price for the totem rooms. Um, again, old totem and new totem is here. So I have a link below all the links where I found these prices for all the rooms and everything as well. There is one other residence that sometimes if you're over 19 and a first year, or if you have dietary restrictions, like have celiac disease or are like deathly allergic to like dairy, they'll tend to put you in this. It's called Ritz. I don't know a lot about Ritz, so there's not a lot I can say. I just know it's like the floor plan tends to be like more traditional roommate style where you have like four roommates you live with in your own kitchen and like living space um but i don't know too much about ritz i know it's located close to oc and totem again the one annoying thing is that you don't really get to rank your preferences so you might be watching this video and thinking wow i really want this room during the application process you don't get to choose you don't get to be like i like this one the best and then this one and then this one you get to for upper year housing but not first year which kind of sucks Maybe they've changed it, but that's how it was when I was there. Honestly, like, you can kind of rig it by being like, I'm not okay with the shared room, and I'm not okay with the single room. I only want a single connected. And then you can get, like, Orchard Commons or New Totem, which are, like, the nicer ones, but the more expensive ones. Or if, like, budget is your priority, you can kind of be like, I only want a shared, or I only want a single. Like, I will not take a single connected. So that's, like, kind of how you can manipulate it. Um, but you can't really choose which residence so that's a little bit of a bummer another thing i will say is if you apply with a roommate and you don't get a single connected or a shared they will put you normally i don't know if this is always the case but it was the case with me they put you guys in rooms next to each other so i had a single room next to somebody that if i got a single connected with i applied to be a roommate with her so that's a recap of the three first year residences at ubc Personally, I think that no matter like which one you're stuck with, you have like a really good opportunity to like make friends. All of them have their perks. All of them have like some stuff that are probably not the best, but first year is a lot of fun. So no matter where you are, you'll probably end up having a great time. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video and want to see more UBC or university related content or Vancouver related content, or just more of me, please make sure to hit the subscribe button down below, like and comment what you want to see more of or any questions you have and I'll get to you by answering them. Thank you guys so much. Bye. -bye.